Specific protocols are assessed when an athlete is tested for a possible concussion. The challenge is finding out whether athletes do or do not have one. There's so many different ones you can either black out, um, you can become dizzy all the time, but some of them you just, it's within yourself and no one can see them. If there is a possibility one may be concussed, he or she is taken out of its respective sport immediately. The first step is a basic test that involves balancing, remembering, and coordination. Our guys take our baseline test, um, which is kind of a, you know, analytical type test on the, on the computer where seeing things and kind of responding and uh, things like that. We do serial monitoring every five minutes until symptoms either alleviate altogether or until somebody would happen to get worse and then we would send them to the ER. After the basic test and a visit to the hospital, athletes are given an impact test. According to its website, is the most widely used and most scientifically validated computerized concussion evaluation system. If we've determined that they have a concussion and it's taken them a couple tries to pass the impact test, then we start them on a graduated return to participation. If they have increased symptoms, they go back to the first step.